So hello and welcome back. Today we will continue our discussion of lecture 5.2b on AC circuit analysis superposition. Our final example is shown here. Example 3, use superposition to find V0 of T in the following circuit. So here we see that we have a circuit that is defined in the time domain with two different sources. On the left we have 240 cosine 4000 T plus 53 degrees. So omega is equal to 4000 radians per second. On the right we have a voltage source V2 of T equals 96 cosine 8000 T. So omega is equal to 8000 radians per second. And what we're going to do is draw this circuit twice. Once with the circuit, the source on the left on, and once with the source on the right on. For the source on the left on, we're going to use the frequency of 4,000 radians per second. So first we're going to do is sketch out the circuit, and we're going to replace the right source with a wire. So here's what our circuit looks like, where the voltage source is 240 with an angle of 53 degrees. and the units are volts. The impedance of the inductor is J times 4,000 times 15 milli. So the impedance of the inductor is J 60 ohms. And then we have the 20 ohm resistor here and the 30 ohm resistor here, and we're looking for V naught. The impedance of the capacitor is negative J over omega C, or negative J over 4,000 times four micro. So the impedance of the capacitor is negative J 62.5 ohms. And we're going to use KCL to solve for V naught. So we're gonna do KCL at that top node, which is V naught. So we're going to have V naught minus 240 angle 53 degrees divided by J60 plus V naught over 30 plus V naught over negative J62.5 plus V naught over 20 equals zero. So we have one equation and one unknown and when we solve, we get that V naught is equal to 48 with an angle of negative 36.5 degrees. So next we're going to solve this problem again with only the right source on. So the first thing we're going to do is redraw the circuit. So here's our inductor, resistor, capacitor, another resistor here, and our source. So the value of the source is 96 with an angle of zero degrees and note that the minus is on top. So it's 96 with an angle of zero degrees and the units are volts. The value of the inductor ZL equals J omega L is going to be J times 8,000 times 15 millihenry, which equals J 120 ohms. Then next we have a 30 ohm resistor here and we have a capacitor. The impedance of the capacitor is negative J over omega C, which is negative J over 8,000 times for a micro. So the value of the capacitor is negative J 31.25 ohms. And this resistor at the top is still 20 ohms. And V naught is here. And so once again, we're going to do KCL at V naught. And we're going to have V naught minus negative 96 over 20 
plus V naught over negative J 31.25 plus V naught over 30 plus V naught over J 120 and that equals zero. And so next we're gonna solve for V naught. And when you solve this equation, you get that V naught is equal to 55.4 with an angle of 164.1 degrees. Now note that when we do superposition, we cannot add these values together in the frequency domain because they were found at two different frequencies. We must write the answer in the time domain so the final answer is V naught of T is equal to 55.4 cosine 8,000 T plus 164.1 degrees plus 48 cosine 4,000 T minus 36.5 degrees. And the units are volts.